Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Larry's Country Diner. So good to have you here. we got a great show lined up. Let's jump right into it. Here's the Big L at the diner. He's the man who runs the cash register. He even determines the size of the pie you get. In charge of the coffee pot, too. Here's Larry. Oh, thank you. Luann and I did a Christmas card one year. We called it a Noel Christmas. Noel Christmas. Yeah. I was Airy Black. She was Uan Black. <laughs> we took all of the L's out of everything. Yeah. Said it's a Noel Christmas. I Jim, like Jim that. Otterdale. Do what? Jim Otterdale. Otterdale. <laughs> Jim Otterdale's here, yeah. Otterday. Otterday. Yeah, you can't do. Yeah, don't can't do Dale either. <laughs> what is that? You've got a different kind of mask. I do. I have a cute mask in case I ever have to wear it. Oh, go ahead. Oh, that see, she's oh, got dear. her granddaughter. Granddaughter's there. All right, give me the give me the, 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 the promise. key to the promise. I got the promise, Jim Lauderdale. I'm going to read a promise. You ready? Yeah. Okay. He's in my promise book too. Lauderdale is. Yes, he is. Find out what the last time he was here and okay. what he had so as a promise. This is the first time. Psalms 23:6 says, "Surely." If you're not named Shirley, forget this one. <laughs> Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I always say this. I always wanted to have a, be part of a musical group called Shirley Goodness and the Mercies. Oh, that's a great, yeah. See, but nobody would go along with it. But, huh. There, I got it apart. I need to go through all these promises and make sure they're separated. You need to sanitize them. You keep licking them. Yeah. I don't lick these. They've, already, they've got so much slobber on them. <laughs> All right. Psalms 3, 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of mine head. And I like this one. This, this one's very, very, when you're having those old memory verse things, you do the little challenges in Sunday school class. This one is Psalm 62, 8. God is our refuge. Oh, says it all. What more could you ask for? Have you found Lord of I haven't. Yet? You know the problem with this? What? It's like, I, don't, I didn't do the like book. It's like Country's Family Reunion. You start watching it and you can't stop watching it. And there are so many cool pictures in here of people that have been on our shows. That So I, I get stuck. I'll find it. <laughs> you, but it's a half hour show. No, it's an hour show. Oh, it is an hour show. Yeah. It's, in your All mind, right. it's only 30 minutes. That's 22 minutes. All right. I've got, I might wake up early and go running. I also might wake up and win the lottery. The odds are about the same. <laughs> Amen. We have a great guest with us today. Oh, we sure do. Jim Lauderdale. Jim, you, I know you know this, but I don't know that people say it to your face that often. <laughs> You're an incredibly talented guy. Well, thank you. You should be a lot more famous. Well, Larry, that's, I do that on purpose. Oh, is that and right? I, <laughs> I like to fly under the radar. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot easier that way. Yeah. <laughs> and if I, I if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to help Keith out. As that's much. right. We we keep it under the radar. Yeah. At all times. I want Keith. You know, I, I, he probably hadn't told you about this, but uh, I've invested a lot of time and money into a clothing. Uh, you've heard of the Burberry. Jackets, you know uh -huh. what I'm talking about? They've got those uh, patches over the elbows. So I've developed a line for him, and it's uh, called the Keith Bilberry Burberry That's Village right. is the name of the store. And we've we're been just, working on that for years. It's we've been working not, on it. Yeah, it's just not getting on And I'm just still trying to get it right. Randy Little <laughs> has a, a, a burglary <laughs> line. A burglary? Burglary line. Yeah. It, it's right yeah. Can't you do cash and carry in your burglary cash line? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a too. Yeah. <laughs> you like cheese? Oh, yes. 
Well, we've also got the Keith Bill Bree. Brie. Oh, the Brie. Yeah. Yes. It's little, right. Oh, that's a big seller right yeah. there. Oh, it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to Brie. We're still aging it. it, it I got yeah. you. It takes I several got you. years. You got a song for us? I sure do. Hit us with uh, it. Here's a one I wrote a few years back called Whisper. Oh, I like that one. I see you over there Smiling at the way I stare I make a wish that you would be Near enough to hear me when I whisper Whisper I think I love you Whisper, whisper, I think I love you too. If I had a chance or two, I would make sure that you knew what's running through this heart of mine in case you'd care to know. And so I'll whisper whisper I think I love you whisper whisper I think I love you too oh I just want to tell you I wish that you were mine I'd love you so sweetly be yours completely all the time maybe in our autumn days when my hair has turned all gray i will take you by the hand and pull you close to me and then i'll whisper whisper I think I love you Whisper, whisper I think I love you too I like to whisper Yeah! <laughs> Did you hear Jimmy Dickens' story about whisper? No. On one of our country's family reunion shows, he said he had a grandson. And they were at a party. And he would very loudly say, uh, Grandpa, I got to go pee. And he said, shh, don't do that. He said, for this party, we'll do this. We'll call it Whisper. So during the party, he comes up, Grandpa, Grandpa, I got to whisper. And he said, what? He said, I got to whisper. He said, they're whispering my ear. <laughs> it's time to take a break. We'll be right back. Oh, this is a happy little bunch, I'm telling you. We got more show to go right here. Larry's Country Diner. Oh, I tell you what, Nadine is a happy woman. One of her favorites, Jim Lauderdale's here. Let's watch, see what happens. There's Larry. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes, you know Miss what, that, America. That wall shook when you slammed that door. I know, that's what mine does at home, too. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing? You know what they say? You, they say you can't fix stupid. Believe me, that is so true. Turns out you can't quarantine it either. You can't quarantine it either. That's right. <laughs> Woo! Like that suit. Thank you. Yeah. I can see you. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Woo! Coffee. Most important meal of the day. I really drink coffee for y'all's protection. Do you? Mm-hmm. Protection? Yep. Have you ever it's thought normal. about it that if a giraffe drank coffee, it'd probably be cold by the time it got to the bottom of his throat? 
I had never thought about that. That's something hey, to think about. Hey, I tell about. you, don't walk a mile in my shoes. I mean, that'd be boring. Just take 30 <laughs> seconds in my head. That'll freak you out. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you what I am, something else I found out. What? There are certain things you just don't do, like get new prescription glasses and go out and buy a full-length mirror on the same day. Oh. <laughs> Mirrors don't lie. <laughs> Thank God mine don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought about just taking these glasses Thank off because I think I've seen enough. <laughs> mm. I asked Homer, I, got to, I asked Homer this morning, I said, you remember what today is? They call me mean, but it's just so easy to scare him. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it. That's I, cool. I just love it. It's cruel, but it's cool. I know. He, he's, he's trying to become a poet. We're sitting on the couch the other night watching TV, and the program ends. He goes, roses are red. And I thought, oh, he's going to say something really sweet. He looks up at me and says, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> So I said, violets are blue. I'm right behind you. <laughs> I'm really running out, I'm telling you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> my mama didn't raise no dummy. If she did, it was my brother. <laughs> but, well, listen, I know we got to get, let, let's get, let's hear some music from Jim. So I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the church sign up. And it says, crisis doesn't make us who we are. It shows us who we are. That's true. Yeah, it does. It's true. That's deep. 2020. That'll do mm. it. It can hurt. I just got pulled over by the cops. He said I could smell alcohol. I told him that's because you're not respecting social distancing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Set him straight. Hey there. Jim Lauderdale. Jim, when I, when I said a minute ago about being famous, that was not a, a, a negative statement. There are so many people in this industry that I mentioned Jim Lauderdale, and everybody knows you, and everybody seems to respect you. Well, I stuck up for you, but it didn't do any good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, you've got a, a fabulous reputation as an entertainer and as an individual. And a songwriter, wow. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> is that what you, your main craft is, is songwriting? Well, when I started out, I wanted to just make records. Yep. And, uh, and this took a long time. And in the meantime, I got a publishing deal. And then people started recording my songs. And I never planned for that to happen. Right. So 33 records later, I'm still trying to make records. But... You know, occasionally they just don't I, make 33 RPM records anymore. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh, but every every once in a while, somebody records something. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, congratulations! So been, you've had you. a, you've had a very long career, and it ain't over yet. I hope not. I hope not. Sing us a song. Okay. Here's one I, I wrote with a couple of guys, real talented songwriters, Lance Miller and Eddie Perez. And this one's called I've Still Got You. The world's gone crazy. It seems here lately, people are losing everything. One thing's for certain We all are hurting That might be true But I've still got you Before the storm And after they're all over I've still got you through thick and thin And it seems I just can't win 
Here you are, there again At least one thing is true I've still got you I'm optimistic But realistic Of what might be up ahead And if you're a memory That I'll keep with me That'll get me through Cause I've still got you Before the storms And after they're over I've still got you Through thick and thin And it seems I just can't win There you are Here again at least one thing is true There you are Here again At least one thing is true I've still got you The world's gone crazy Woo! Wow. Yeah! Thank you. What was the one of the big songs that Merle Kilgore had? Uh, Wolverton Mountain was Wolverton one Mountain of his was most biggie, famous biggie, for, biggie, yeah. Uh, he told me one time, he's passed away now, but Merle said he was a great storyteller and was a very successful songwriter. Oh, yeah. But his success came from having other people record his material. And back in those days, if you recorded an album, there was like 12 songs on it. You didn't have to have the hit. If you were on a hit record that it sold, you got paid the same as the hit. They called it a free ride. Yeah. <laughs> and I think Merle was very successful in getting free rides. Uh -huh. He was friends to everybody. And they would say, all right, Merle, I'm going to record it. Give me a song. Wow. Did you ever get that kind of a kick from any... Did you get a song that was on a hit album? That yeah, I did. Um, George Strait did a lot of songs, several, Patty Loveless, a whole bunch of folks. And uh, so I was on some, I had a few singles with, with them, but uh, sometimes they were album cuts. So. Yeah. Tom T. Hall told me one time, uh, you know, they used to have these guitar pulls and all the songwriters would get together. And back in his day, I mean, it was some major songwriters. And, I said, aren't you afraid somebody will steal your material or something? He said, well, Keith, you've got to understand. Back in those days, a hit song, maybe you buy a Cadillac. Now you buy the dealership. So <laughs> big difference, big difference. Yep, yep. Well, hello once again. Welcome back to Larry's Country Now. Just checking the menu here, Jim. I, I like your special of the day, the King of Broken Hearts Creamy Chocolate Pie. It won't unbreak your heart, but it'll sure make you feel better while you're getting over it. Absolutely. Oh. There's Larry. Well, not to brag, but I just went into another room and actually remembered why I went there. Mm. It was the bathroom, but still. <laughs> 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 Mr. Lauderdale, another one. All right. Here's uh, a tune I wrote with uh, Melba Montgomery. Oh, I love oh. Melba. And, uh, and a fellow named Logan Ledger. Love's so good You'll have to stay And hang around It's understood It never should let you down And when you trust Someone so much You'll never want to leave 
your heart will let you know that it's for keeps for keeps it's so sweet to know for keeps for keeps I'll never let you go when we get there we'll never want to leave dreams we share are never make believe and when the best of everything is never out of reach your heart will let you know that it's for keeps for keeps it's so sweet to know for keeps for keeps I'll never let you go When the best of everything is never out of reach Your heart will let you know That it's for keeps Our hearts will let us know That it's for keeps Thanks, Don. That's such great playing. Thank you. Thank you for that tribute too. That for Keith? sure. Is that what? You say for Keith? Oh, oh no, no. It's for keeps, oh. not for Keith. Oh, Keith. I I'll take like Larry. I also, I've been so busy. I've been working on a book. Um, Keith doesn't know about it, but it's called "I Kid Because I Care." It's a collection of the teasings that I've given to Keith over the years. Ah, Some of them, yes. I've kind of hardened him, you know. He, I, yeah. Because yeah, you guys did a, a, a thing together of... Music, Music City, City Roots. Music City yeah. Roots. How long yeah. was that on? Eight years. I wow. felt like an eternity. I it, don't know. it did. It felt like... <laughs> <laughs> you talked about Melba Montgomery. Oh, oh gosh. Lady. What a great lady. She is a great lady. Oh. She evidently has a daughter that married Blake Chansey. That's right. And yeah. he brought her. Jackie. His mother and his mother-in-law to one of our shows when we were doing it with the Ray Stevens thing. Mm -hmm. My wife was sitting with, uh, with them. When she got up to go <laughs> do something, Blake said, his, Melba said to, his mama said, uh, she must be wife number two. <laughs> <laughs> and then she came, came back and, you know, we've been married 50-something years. <laughs> it was just funny. I loved it. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Yeah, it's news to me. It's news to all of us. Larry's Country Diner. More music on the way. Stay with us. All righty. Welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. Boy, how this hour has flown by. Larry, uh, what do you it, got there? It, well, this is part of that Stephanism stuff. Yeah. 
just before we get the last song out of um, Jim Lauderdale, our favorite guest today. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. No problem. <laughs> He tiptoed as quietly as he could toward the stairs leading to the upstairs bedroom. Misjudged the bottom step and he caught himself by grabbing the banister. His body swung around and he landed heavily on his rump. A whiskey bottle in his back pocket broke, making the landing especially painful. Managing not to yell, Patty jumped up, pulled down his pants, looked in the hallway mirror and saw that his butt cheeks were cut and bleeding. Ooh. He managed to quietly find a box full of Band-Aids, began putting Band-Aids on his, each place that he saw the blood. Then he hid the now empty box, shuffled and stumbled to his bed. In the morning, Patty woke up with searing pain in both his head and his rear end, and Kathleen staring at him across the room. She said, you were drunk again last night, weren't you? He said, well, why would you say such a mean thing? Well, it could be the open front door. It could be the broken glass at the bottom of the stairs. It could be the drops of blood trailing through the house. It could be your bloodshot eyes, but mostly it's all those Band-Aids stuck on the hall mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Did that really happen, Randy? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lauderdale. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me today. Thanks for being and here. And thank you all. And thanks everybody at home yep. for watching. And uh, here's a song. LauderdaleMusic.com. JimLauderdaleMusic.com. And uh, thanks, Don. And uh, here's one that I wrote with an up-and-coming singer-songwriter from Louisiana named Sarah Duguay. I'll forgive you if you don't I'll still be there if you won't Wanna tell me that you feel The same way too You could go on all night long And on and on and on Tell me anything you want I'll forgive you if you don't If you feel like jumping in I'm ready, let's begin We could give this thing a try If you want Because every now and then A woman and a man might think their hearts at home I'll forgive you if you don't I'll forgive you if you don't Want to leave the friend zone And keep everything just the way it is Are we on the same page? Have we gotten to that stage? Do you feel the ho ho ho? I'll forgive you if you don't If you feel like jumping in Ready, let's begin We could give this thing a try If you want Because every now and then A woman and a man Might think their heart's at home I'll forgive you if you don't Do you feel the ho 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 I'll forgive you if you don't I'll forgive you if you don't wow. yeah. Amen.
Thank you. Oh, I feel the ha ha ha. I, I really do. That well, was good. we've almost come to the end of another show. Wow. Went by fast, didn't it? Not fast enough. <laughs> we got three more minutes. What are we gonna do for three minutes? Do a little King of Broken Hearts. I'd like to hear that. Oh yeah. I'll just do a little bit. Yeah. The King of Broken Hearts doesn't ask much from his friends. And he has quite a few of them. They know he will understand. It's just the way it goes. The king of broken hearts doesn't know he's a king. He's trying to forget other things. Like some old chilly scenes. He's walking through alone He talks to angels and the stars start to spin He thinks of troubles that he's gotten in He recalls how his heart got broken And how it's still that way The king of broken hearts thinks that he's an old fool He's a little bit like me and you So what's a king like that supposed to do With all that blue time We know he'll be brave tonight Cause he's a king of broken hearts All right, we're going to get out. Jim, thank you very much. Thank you. We're going to get out of here after these two things. Yes. Stephanisms. If you're sitting in a public place and a stranger takes a seat next to you, just stare straight ahead and say, do you bring the money? <laughs> <laughs> I got to try that. And I've had my patience tested. And I'm negative. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Thank you. Oh, well, we leave you with that. <laughs> Maneuver. Uh, Larry's Country Diner, thank you all for coming. Thank you for watching Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling and we, we don't care. care. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now check out Larry's Country Diner YouTube page. Subscribe for free.